Hi up YouTube, it's uh, NM Gavor again with the Samsung Galaxy S2 running Android should have start that again running Android Gingerbread 2.3.6 uh, this is a rooted one um, you can check out one of my other videos for, on how to root this device uh, but after root um, most people want to root the, the device just to get rid of some of the bloatware or the default applications that the manufacturer puts on like for example um, on this device if I go to my apps here we go uh, I've got the Samsung Game Hub I hate this thing it just takes up space on my device and I don't want it there and you can't uh, locate if you go to oops, if we go to settings and then applications manage applications it's not there <coughs> It's not there at all. See within the G's. So you can't get rid of it. You can see it under all, under Game Hub, but it doesn't allow you to remove. So you may be thinking, what's the point? Uh, let me just see if it allows me to find it there, just quickly. Uh, there we go, Game Hub. So if I tap it, this, all it gives you to do is clear the data, force close it, and that's it. Nothing else. The whole point of the route was so that we get super user access or administrative access to the phone so we can get rid of stuff like this. So what you need to do is go to the Andro uh, Android Marketplace, just download Titanium Backup. Um, it's free, there is a free one, so just download the free one. Um, you can do this on that one as well. Uh, I've already got it downloaded, so I'll just go to it there. <coughs> Incidentally, if you want to know what the difference is between the free one and the paid for one, which is basically exactly the same, but you pay for a license and that license unlocks some extra features. Um, on the paid for version, um, you can synchronize, you can back up everything on the phone um, to Dropbox, which is online storage space, so uh, which is pretty good. I've got the paid for version here for uh, £5, but you can do this with the free one as well. Removing the default applications, uh, but uh, on the paid for version, the other stuff that you can do is if you want to restore applications on your phone, say if something went wrong and you want to restore all the applications on your phone, you have to restore each application one at a time if you choose the free version. But if you if you choose a paid for version, you just press one button and it restores all of them in one go. Those are the only two differences. So the Dropbox is the first difference, and the second one is the one button restore all okay so what we want to do is from the main screen itself we want to go to backup slash restore we want to locate the app because it's got the list of apps that we've got on the machine and the red ones are usually the system ROMs, system ones should I say so if we scroll down and find the, the game hub um, I haven't even got to the edges yet here we go uh, here we go game hub Samsung, let me see if I can zoom in there actually. There we go. Samsung Game Hub. Okay, so all you need to do is tap it and it gives you options for backup, freeze. I wonder if you can see that actually. Let's see if you can bring that in. Gives you the option for backup, freeze, uninstall, run app, restore, wipe data, and delete. Now, I don't want to back it up. I don't want to freeze it. Freeze it is just freezing it, so you can't really do anything with it. I want to completely un uninstall it from the device. So what we'll do is hit uninstall. Uh, and basically, it gives you a warning saying, this is a system app. Some of the packages are needed for your phone to work, yada, yada, yada. But the game hub, I don't need, so I don't care. So all we do is, do you want to run uninstall it? Do you want to uninstall it? Yes. We'll tap there. And it quickly flashes up and then disappears and then you can now see through the the game hub has a line through it so it's no longer there and it's no longer red so it's not active so if we come out <coughs> now I may need to reboot this device for that to take effect but um, let me just zoom out a little bit there you go if we go to applications and I did have it on my home screen it's no longer there so that's how you get rid of the manufacturer's applications 
once you've rooted your phone and you've got root access that's how you get rid of it all you do is download titanium backup it's free go into it go to backup and restore find the app just select it uh, I'll just pick uh, another one here just to show you I won't go through the process but uh, I'll just show you what you can um, we'll pick the gallery and then all you do once you see it is you hit uninstall I would recommend before you uninstall any of the any apps on your phone that you do a backup um, with uh, titanium backup or Samsung keys um, the keys itself doesn't back up the applications I should mention that so um, just use titanium backup it's a great uh, great backup tool um, and that's how you get rid of default or bloatware applications on uh, Android 2.3.6 specifically on this device which has been rooted uh, any comments or questions please comment below uh, hit subscribe from the bottom above it's free it doesn't cost you anything and you can check out some of my forthcoming videos uh, have a good night thanks for watching and goodbye